Greetings everyone and welcome. I want to share a dream with you. It was about the room. I was in the laundry room of my house and the walls had been newly painted with a bright white color. And I had noticed a window that had just been installed where there once were ventilation blocks. It was a small scale window, but a window nevertheless. I was amused, extremely happy, overwhelmed with joy to say the least. On entry, I met my father. As I stood admiring the work done, my father proceeded out of the room. Straight away, I went to assess the completed project, but realized one window, though it appeared complete, was blocked with a loose partition like a concrete object. I endeavored to move it, and the partition slipped out of place, only to recognize that the space, though it was small, was big enough to allow entry by a small person. I did not like it. I was displeased. Now for the revelation of the dream. As believers in Christ, some of us come to a point in our lives where we have reconciled in submission to the Savior, and some have, for the first time, given over their lives in surrender to the Redeemer. When Jesus washes us clean from sin, he makes us white as snow by giving us his righteousness according to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. We are walking as the church, without spot, without blemish, presenting our bodies as living sacrifices, holy, acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. Through Jesus Christ, God the Father had cleansed us, purged us, and made us new. Yes, we are happy to experience this new life in Jesus as the author and finisher of our faith. However, if or when we examine ourselves, there are found spaces or room for the enemy to enter in. Though the access seem small, insignificant or trivial, it is an access nevertheless. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. I want to remind and encourage you. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us or ensnare us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. I admonish you, let us not allow any room or space for the enemy, Satan, to enter, to disrupt the plans Jesus has for us. Let us live holy, walk in righteousness, stay in the word of God, for he loves us with an everlasting love. Make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Don't delay.